mixin', fixin' for another big game. It's the coach. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see running back Joe Mixon coming off a 100-yard performance a week ago as it'll be the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Minnesota Vikings. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, a very warm day outside by Minnesota standards, but then again, it is still summer. Either way, the AC is working just fine at U.S. Bank Stadium in the Twin Cities. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Minnesota Vikings. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you look at this Vikings ball club. They come in losers of two straight, so they're trying to right the ship here a little bit. They're teetering a little bit, aren't they? And now things could really go south if they lose this game, so they understand the importance of playing well and stopping this streak. Meanwhile, for the Bengals here, they've been in a great groove. Winners of seven of their last ten on the year. The calendar has turned to December, and we're in the home stretch now as we're underway in week 13. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one. Check, check. Yeah. He don't want none. Deuce, deuce. Deuce, deuce. Ready, ready. The first carry now for Dalvin Cook. And he's going to get a good game. I'm coming. I'm coming. Second and one. That's caught by the tight end, Irv Smith Jr. And he's got another first down. From the gun, Schaefer. And now he'll tuck it and run. A nifty bit of scrambling there. Slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Looking to throw. Schaefer. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. They didn't seem to I didn't want offer it. mine. Yeah, you, were, you were the smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. He'll buy some time right, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Because I think he's found matchups that he likes, and he's capitalizing. And a few times, he's even defeated double teams. He doesn't care at this point. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Two yards gets him back to where they started, but now third and 10. And the offensive starters for the Vikings. Operating from the gun, Schaefer. That'll be complete to Cook. And they're going to drop him well shy of the first. Badgley's kick is good. Throwing on first down, Kendall. This one grabbed by A.J. Green. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. The former second-round pick, this is Joe Mixon. A good burst there, gets him seven up to midfield. On second down, here's Mixon. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. Here now the offense for the Bengals. Out of the backfield is Joe Mixon. From the gun on third down. Kendall. And able to find Green. Pass the 20. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down. They'll give it to Mixon. And he pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. A look now at our starting defense. They're a unit that enters play way down, number 28 in the NFL right now against the run. Stopping the run, that's been an issue for them all season long. Off play action, Kendall. It's caught, this is White. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage. From the gun, Kendall. This is caught. 
And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. The run there on first down. Going to get him five up to the 30. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Defensive starters, here they are for Cincinnati. They're going to need to be strong against the run in this one. Now if they could just get their pass defense in line, this unit would be really, really strong. Early and often, we'll see if they can get to him. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. To the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Let's go. Cook following the penalty. It's a six-yard gain. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings, that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched it more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake. They've taken care of that early. And he'll go down. <laughs> On first down, Schaefer. He's got Smith here. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. They're in the top 10 in the league against the pass. And you and I both know there's not much difference between 1 and 10. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he's going to get this inside the 30. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. First down. Here's the run with Cook. And he'll lose yardage here. Misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Now Cook, he's got it off the draw. That will go as a pickup of seven. From the gun on third down, Schaefer. And he's able to find Diggs. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. On second down now, Mixon. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. 18 yards on that one, and the Bengals are moving. First down. On first and 10, Kendall. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Green brings it in. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Operating from the gun, Kendall. And now nothing but Green ahead of him. He's at the 50, the 30, 20, 10. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. They'll start here with a give to Mixon. It's a six-yard pickup. On second down, Mixon. And this carry not as productive. From the gun on third down, Kendall. Yeah, he will not be able to hang on. That was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no good plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Pretty solid run here on first down. On second down, Cook. And an alley to run. Fighting through it. He's got space. 30. The 20. Touchdown, Vikings. Delvin Cook. Now they try the right side here. To throw on second down. Kendall. And that's complete. It's green here. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Throwing on first down. Kendall. He finds his running back, Mixon. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. On first down, Kendall. That's complete to White. 
And now look at this, big game, but a fumble. And the Vikings pick up the football. Let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not only going to tip it, I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations, big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. The Vikings going to signal for their first of their timeout. Now. Second and four. Complete. Smith has it. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. From the gun, Schaefer. Escape. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Second and 15. Rolling to his right. He's going to take off with it. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Off the play fake. Schaefer. It's caught. Smith. And he gets his down. A 51-yard attempt. Badgley able to punch this one through. On first and ten. Kendall. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts. Back to throw. Kendall airing one out for Boyd. And this is going to wind up incomplete. Operating from the gun. Kendall, he's going to air it out deep for Green. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds. Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play. That's what you usually run in this situation. A 10th carry in the game for Cook. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Things definitely getting interesting around the NFL as we begin the month of December. So let's get right to it. We'll start over at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa. And it is the Jets who have the lead late in the second quarter. Le'Veon Bell, over 100 yards on the ground with a pair of touchdown runs. From there, we head a little further north up to Atlanta to check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And you can see they trail the visiting Buffalo Bills in that ball game. The Bills trying to gut this one out as it would be a good victory for them if they could get it. Finally, let's get to Indianapolis to check on the Colts at home at Lucas Oil Stadium. And that game is tied. They take on the visiting 49ers. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back and forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Throwing on first down, Kendall. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Mixon with a first down carry. And he's got it across the midfield stripe. a gain of three. They'll run it here. This is James White. And he's got the first before he's brought down. From the gun, Kendall. He completes it to Boyd. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. So time to retool a bit. And probably need to tap into that emotional vein that gets them back to really playing hard and effectively. Because a lot of times we think it's just play calls and this isn't working. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And the Bengals grab it. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. Following the fumble.
fumble recovery. Kendall. He gets this one to Boyd. A Bengal first down on the 16-yard pickup there. They'll run on first down. Nixon. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine. Once again, they run with Nixon. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16. On first down, Kimball. Green's open, and he's got it for a Bengal touchdown. And trailing on the scoreboard last time, able to force the fumble. I'm sure they'd like to do that again. That's exactly right, because what they did last time is help them stay in this game. Being opportunistic, taking the ball away, that can help keep the game tight. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Two yard. Looking to throw. Schaefer. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. And then zone or better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And they finally got themselves a win because all game long we've seen them get gashed. This time they play their responsibilities, played their keys, and made a nice stop. And they're able to work this to the 25. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not straight. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Carl Lawson make that now eight sacks for him. Disruptive in all phases, whether he's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it. He's a big-time guy you have to block. Second and 13, letting one go deep for the end zone. And that'll be incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. Now a first carry for their fullback. And he's going to be taken down. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. And the catch good. It's Eifert. Operating from the gun. Kendall flushed out right. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line. It's a sack. Looking to throw on second down. Kendall. Points the target, and he has it over the middle. From the gun to give to Mixon. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Here's a second and seven. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Throwing on third and long. Kendall, and the pressure gets to him again. Daniil Hunter picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Like to emulate, and of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception, but they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive. Ready, ready. Back to throw. Schaefer. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. Place. Let's face it. That's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out and they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Yeah, had just one pick so far and his team leads, so now they can play complimentary football, meaning if he takes care of the ball and his offense, well, you know, if they're humming along, the defense doesn't have to be out there as large, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount. And he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. They'll run with Cook. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Second and nine now. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. They begin with a run by Mixon. And a productive gain out to the 14. To throw on second down. Kendall, they'll set up the screen here to Mixon. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. On 
first and ten. Kendall, he's getting green. Now the ball comes loose, and the Vikings pick up the football. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. I don't think next week at practice is going to be a whole lot of fun for him. On the other side, no bigger time to force a turnover. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. This to make it a two-score game. Badgley able to knock this one through. And that will make this a nine-point lead. Off play action. Kendall forced out to his left. He's going to let it fly. It's caught inside the 25. 53 yards. First down now, but that clock rolling. Looking to throw. Kendall, his throw caught at about the five. Finding a rhythm. They've got another first. Now the Bengals urging everybody to get back to the line of scrimmage. Toward the end zone. Back to throw. Kendall eluding the pressure right. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Looking to throw. Kendall, and he takes this one into the end zone. Down rushes. And this is going to be recovered by the hand seam. And that should just about put a camper on this one. And now, this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. So the final seconds have ticked away in this Minnesota victory, and they were really helped by their defense, forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what I mean by that is in the old days, pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot. of. But now it's about taking the ball away taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one, and it led them to victory. So for the Vikings, their very slim playoff hopes get a boost as they move to five and seven.